Let me show you a few more advanced things while using the mobile web browser and, and mobile one. First, let's go to a website. Then we're going to add a bookmark. Simply add a bookmark. Now notice that when I open the bookmarks, I can see the bookmark I added. Well, let's delete that one for now. But I can also add it to the home screen. This installs what's called a web clip. Now notice that I have the web clip installed on the home screen here, and I can click it to launch again, or I can delete it. Let's bring the browser back up. And now I want to show you the control panel, a few optional advanced features. Here I can change the network setting from Wi-Fi, 3G, or the edge network and simulate network speed while you're testing your application. Also, you notice that iPhone doesn't have any scroll bars by default, but just to make it a little bit easier to navigate around your page, you can turn the scroll bars on, and then you can just uh, navigate more, more simply. But with the scroll bars off, you still have a way to navigate either by using the mouse wheel or by going into what we call panning mode. Let's go to a page where we can see this. To activate panning mode, you just simply hold down the control key and then just move, move the mouse around or move the mouse up and down. And then you can see the viewport indicator on the right hand side showing me where we're at in the page as we pan. And then to deactivate, you just simply let the control key up.